been a writer, I've been a mess, I've been a dreamer, settled for less, I've been a fire, I've been the rain, I've been a circle, closing again, but you can trust me with your heart, cause I know what it's like to fall apart. All right, dealing with a couple of technical issues with videos tonight, but uh, should probably do a quick audio check. So, how are we doing? I've had a passion, I've lost my defense, I've been in trouble, I have been safe, I've been abandoned, I found a way, and you can trust me with your heart. Cause I like to fall apart. All right, thank everybody. Uh, we'll be starting shortly, although, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Hold on.
Okay. Timer, of course, is incorrect, but just want to double check again. Mic check. Uh, the other issues I was troubleshooting seem to be cleared with a restart. Uh, so. And we seem to be back up and running on the stream. Looks good. All right. Give us one second. We'll be right back. Hello there, comrades. Uh, Danny Chia here. So uh, we need to take a really uh, quick video uh, because Legion, um, she's going to come out um, very soon. But before she comes out, I need to show you how to put on um, this wig, okay? This is called Nwuluk, N-W-L-K, Nwuluk. Uh, but um, sometimes, just sometimes, we call it New Wave Long Kai. And Kai kind of like... Danny's back, lots of dolls released, and Legion is coming. Uh, yeah, and maybe the return of Cortex, perhaps? Hmm. It's Monday, October 20, October 30th, and this is your Smart Doll News. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we're back. Yeah. Uh, some technical difficulties to start. Uh, some verbal difficulties. <laughs> yeah, it uh, it is uh, getting ready for uh, uh, you know for Salwain or whatever you want to call it. Um, we've got uh, uh, a a couple of cool stories uh, uh, this evening um, and some behind the scenes photographs to take a look at. Um, uh, and uh, all of our video should be functioning now. Uh, so uh, yeah, let's uh, let's dig in to our um. So Legion is on her way, and uh, Danny uh, had to put out a video uh, because the new wig is um. Difficult to say the least. Right, it's a totally different type of thing. Mm. Uh, the fit on it is different. It's not. A, it's not. It's going to be as stretchy as as the others. I guess. In fact, it's not going to be stretchy, uh -huh. like at all. Mm. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So uh, you've got your uh, uh, a a basically a a wig without any sort of elastic. Um, we've got uh, specifically though, so that it has this sort of what he's calling a turnover. Uh, style mm -hmm. uh, so that uh, the hair is all underneath you can see that in the uh, the video there um, uh, and it is just a like a solid well not solid because it is fabric but it's just a fabric uh, 
uh, cap in there. Mm -hmm. That color is glorious. <laughs> I freaking love that color. It is fantastic. Um, and uh, we have uh, because of that, uh, you're gonna see here. Danny has uh, to do some finagling to get this wig onto it. Mm -hmm. Now, what I have to say is. To some extent, I think this might be a little bit better than a, a wig with elastic that is too tight. With, with elastic that is too tight, you it have to really stretch yep. and, <laughs> and just fires off in your face as has done to you on mm -hmm. camera yes. multiple times. <laughs> um, and uh, this is uh, basically just like getting it in the right spot, again, holding firm up top and uh, tugging like tugging bit by bit at like the hair on the bottom to pull the bottom edge uh, uh, back around um, it it does look like a bit of a pain but I mean there could be some benefits here well I mean there's benefits to putting it on I, I mean like the fact that you can flip the hair back you can put it up in a in a bun and you have like the hair just kind of just looks normal instead of having weird yeah no more like wig, wig showing. caps showing which often mm -hmm. happens like on the uh, on the sides here um the uh the i'm, I'm going to give a shout out to uh, Barbie Witch cuz again i'm not sure if uh, if our uh, system is just being lagged or if it's another issue tonight but uh um Oh, the, it was lags. It um, <laughs> it's uncomfortably long at the moment. <laughs> um, and uh, thank you so much. Uh, Barry Witch says, good mojo for uh, for a happy Witch New Year. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, we have, uh, you know, I mean, Danny's practice at this. So to some extent, he kind of does make it look a little easy. Um, uh, but I think, this is, I think it's going to be a challenge for a lot of people. And he even talks about... Um, that you know for some people like the hand strength is going to be an issue if you have arthritis um if you're buying it for somebody little that that is going to have a hard time with the wig um yeah see look how cool that looks you can actually flip the hair back and it stays looking normal like once it's on i feel like it is gonna stay there yeah um i think it's gonna have a hard time coming off which is nice Especially for, for if you're not one to constantly, well, if you're doing things like with the evolve frame that are a little bit more acrobatic and you know stuff like that, like that's right. uh, it's it's really nice to not have to worry about the hair so much. And if the doll happens to fall on the floor, which happens frequently, and the wig goes flying, it won't go flying off. It's probably gonna, it's probably gonna stay on the head. But Danny did say that you can request if you have issues with your hands, you can request to have the wig put on and they will put like a piece of double-sided tack um oh, underneath thank you spiral mind so much um, um uh spiral mind real quick says uh, uh looks great not seeing the wig cap but boy what a challenge to put on it's nice that you can request they do it for you yeah so you can put that in the notes there's a notes every time you order a doll you can put that you can put a note in there saying that you would like it if they would be willing to put the the wig on for you and they'll put it on with some double tack so that you can uh uh you know it will stay on better uh yeah and then some people so some people are going to get the experience of unboxing a doll like full doll like fully realized yeah naked but you know well, in, in underwear, underwear with but, the wig and everything but on full wig yeah. and everything yeah mm -hmm. um, which is kind of cool um so uh the other thing I do want to point out here, uh, and let's pause this video. Um, I'm gonna. Uh, that's a good. That's a good pause right there. Yeah, I'd be pretty. <laughs> that's yeah, shockingly <laughs> good. Um, uh, out of frame here, and it does actually kind of come around a couple of times. Uh, you can actually see um, the full Chrome Smart Doll. Yeah, it's really cool looking. I would love to have one. Uh, let's see if uh, see if we can get a better shot here. Um, it is funny though. I have to notice every time I watch this, 
and Danny's like, you know, uh, tell I don't know who's behind the camera, but tells them to come closer. I always think of the the TikTok guy in the mirror. Yeah, D- Jordan, what's his name? Yeah, uh, <laughs> he's like, C- yeah. come here. <laughs> um, and now I come now here. I feel now I feel like I need to see Danny, the president of the fast food secrets club. Yes, I, I feel like I need to see Danny, uh, uh, you know, uh, do some uh, uh, parody TikToks of, yeah. of that. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that's actually, uh, someone asked, uh, I wonder, uh, Dee Dee asked, I wonder if the hair at the edges is going to stay in the doll. That's a good question for Danny. I actually thought of that myself. Yeah. Like, have they done testing of leaving that wig on for a long time and seeing if that, if anything, because like, I know in, there's been times where we've gotten wigs from people and thread has stained the doll. Yeah, absolutely. But, um, I've never had hair stain the doll. Um, uh... I mean, I think we we've had wigs stain it, but I mean, I, I don't. Uh, but I don't know. But like yeah. you know, it could be like a it would be like a red hair, but the stain on it is like brown because the thread that was used on the inside of the wig cap was brown. Maybe you know. Um, I it's it's hard to say. Uh, I don't know. Um, uh, but yeah, that's a very good question, Danny. You know, uh, I mean, for the most part. Danny's always very uh, uh, clear, transparent about like stain testing. Oh and yeah, things like all that. the clothing says like how what the stain risk is and yeah. and all which of is that. always their stain risk at the very minimum. Um, but like he 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 does is able to tell us when it's relatively low stain risk. You know? I mean the thing about the thing about staining on the head is it's a bigger deal. Yeah. Um, because you've got to be careful not to take any of the face up off or anything like that. Whereas with the bodies, you can actually you know, separate everything, cover it in, in zit cream and yeah. UV it, you know? Um, so, uh, yeah. So Danny did uh, say he's going to be doing some more of these videos. He's worked out, I guess, some, uh, either equipment or workflow sort of stuff. Um, this is a quick, you know, four and a half or so minute video that he mm-hmm. just put up there. Uh, you know, uh, I, I, I have mad respect for Danny's ability to just stand there and talk. Yeah, like, <laughs> like well, he's got a lot of experience at it. I know. I'm just saying, like yeah. you know, respect. Like it's, yeah. uh, you know, the fact that you can do, you can pull off a really well done video that is like without any editing, and you know, it, it's perfect. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, yeah, it was nice to see a video from Danny again. I, I enjoy Danny's videos, and you can you can't like. You know, when we first started collecting Smart Doll, we burned through every video we could find. We watched all of Danny's videos, yeah. and we would sit there and just like roll our eyes at his sense of humor and stuff like that. So, like, we'd be like, "Okay, Danny," you know, and they're like, and, and now I'd like to get his videos back again. It's kind of fun. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, you you got to at least be reminded that you're, you know, that if your dog's freaking out, it's probably the screams of your Smart Doll. Yeah. <laughs> um that's what that's what that's what's going on with Livy. Yeah, I know, that's why she won't shut up. Because <laughs> the, the smart dolls are screaming in the other room. <laughs> oh, it explains so much. Um so uh yeah, a couple other things to note with Legion. Uh uh it was a little confusing uh for a little bit because he had mentioned some dolls coming out with like on on cyber body and then not, but apparently it was never intended for Legion to to come out that way because he just he was using the cyber body and just switching heads. So we would get pictures of different heads on the cyber body. So people were wondering whether she would be or not. Yeah. Uh, so uh, he put out a poll uh, and uh, said, you know, like what do you, what do you actually uh, uh, you know prefer? Like, do you actually want the cyber shell? Uh, and it looks like the cyber shell got beat pretty handily, but I mean, thirty-seven point two percent of two hundred and thirty-four. Thirty-four times point. It's uh, eighty-seven people said that they wanted. Uh, there was voting cyber on shell. Instagram as well, and the results were similar. What I mean is though that while yes the classic body is clearly the preferred uh uh thing uh for this doll 
there might be enough response in 80 some odd people uh you know uh or more assumedly so let's say you know i don't know the same response on instagram (laughs) um maybe we have double that uh like 160 that maybe perhaps that is enough for him to do a short cyber run uh of her um i know he did ask about uh the face markings versus not um where did you st- i think i know i think we've talked about this but where did you stand with the uh the face markings i i don't want the face markings on her um i kind of like i said I, my, my vision for that that face is like she seems like i want to make her into the cute like like um uh mischievous like cyber hacker i don't mind seeing her in the environment Mm -hmm. but i like i i want her to be human and and just to be like you know doing doing stuff in that environment that's not 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 being cyber herself um and uh let's see we had uh another all right so We'll see what happens there. Um, uh, another thing that uh, Danny brought up, and I, I, I sort of f- connecting this to Legion mostly because of the pictures, um, is some uh, fashion uh, from another culture that we haven't seen too much of uh, from uh, from Danny. Uh, he talks about in this post. Um, uh, uh, I'm gonna butcher this, but I mean, is it Indo Mauritian? Uh, 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 culture, the the family that he has he was raised with in foster care, um, and he has put out some lovely uh, pants here. I like the I love that outfit. I love the big drapey belt and like yeah, it looks really cool. Yeah, it's a cool cool outfit. It's very very laid back. Um, you could have a lot of fun with that if he releases the pattern. There's a lot of like a lot of boho opportunity with that too. Oh, totally. Um, so that would be kind of fun. Um, and it's another example of D- Danny is extremely like multicultural in his background. Yes. Like you know he's gotten so much criticism for being like you know anti this or anti that. Said people saying that he's these things, and it's like this guy has such a multicultural background. He knows so much about so many cultures, and it's like how can you like say stuff like that? Is just by mind blowing. Oh, easily. Yeah. <laughs> um, open your mouth or say or, uh, t- just type it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so very cool. Uh, love the look of this. Um, he mentioned 3D printing on this, or is that just a mistake as far as tags go? I'm not sure what he used 3D print wise, um, but uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a whole set. Uh, it's got a short kurta, uh, waist sash, belt, uh, and solar trousers. And the pair body will get a version, but likely with a longer kurta. I'm assuming because of the belly and like where it's going to sit. Right. Um, yeah. Um, very cool. We also had amongst our releases a deep sleep awakening. Destiny smiles with freckles. She is really cute. Like she, I don't know. I like her. She's like this. It's like you've blended like challenge and fortitude like there's yeah, okay like it's kind of all mashed together i think she's really cute yeah she looks fantastic uh, uh really really love to see like him mixing in dolls that we really haven't seen uh and also again like variations and things i'm sure we're gonna see a lot of like you know like not just bringing back an older doll but giving them freckles like this is kind of bringing new life to it and giving you know it gives him a reason to make it beyond just people are asking for the doll it's also like okay let's see how let's see how she looks like with something a little new a little yep. refreshing uh let's see all right um c2 started shipping last week and has arrived many places, um, including our house. Uh, we, well, we recorded um, her unboxing with uh, uh, our uh, Discord subscribers, which was a lot of fun. Um, 
Uh, they got to watch us argue over opening lines and <laughs> various uh, yeah. things or what figure out what we're doing. And um, The common sentiment was, wow, making videos is hard. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I got to, got to see the whole shebang, uh, which is good because uh, half of it didn't get recorded on the main camera. It died. Um uh, and uh, I realized that after I realized that uh, we didn't get the right microphone set up for it. Yeah. So, so um, we're hoping to get you something with her. We're not sure what it's going to be. Um, Shizu-san has currently an unboxing uh, of her available. So if you haven't seen her unboxed yet, you can go look at his. Yep. Uh, so we will, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if we're going to, re-record sections of it or what uh we'll see uh, we'll figure it out <laughs> um and so um but he did say that there are some locations that um have had delays in getting the dolls um australia taiwan singapore germany united kingdom philippines south korea and thailand um the date has been extended by extended to november 31st that's that's how they expect that's how well, how long it takes he expects to complete it and he says deliveries yeah, yeah like we're talking the deliveries yep. yeah um so uh yeah no the other thing he does note here uh connected back to our main story is uh legion is uh looking at a november lease this is where he's kind of like it's everything's just about ready to go for her so we should be seeing her in this next month yeah, so they're 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 they've got the masks and they're basically getting it right, and then so November. Um, I think there's is there one other? No, that is that's it. Um, uh, so uh, if uh, you are finding this, you know, the news useful, keeping up to date with everything that's going on in Smart Doll Land, do us a favor. <laughs> And give this video a thumbs up. Uh, this one. This one. This yeah, is the one I'm supposed one. to use. Uh, <laughs> and uh, let us, uh, you know, help us uh, get um, uh, get this video out to more people. Um, uh, special uh, thank you to our uh, Disorb subscribers. I'm trying it here. We'll see how we like this. Okay, we got our cheerleader, cheerleaders, ALH Doll Studio, Anne Marie, Appleboy, Celestial Styles, Alaska, Holly K, Queen Nova 201, and Super Meow. Uh, we also have our sponsor levels Agarva, Bizbot Red has Rambling, Busy Bee, Kemi Fay, uh, SMD, and W. Corden. And our mascots Angel Kitty, Baggins Lover, Geek Squeaks, and War Sheep. Um, and of course, uh, uh, a special thanks to uh, those of you uh, each week who are giving us uh, super chats, super thanks, um, super stickers. Uh, we really appreciate it. Last week, we had Barbie Witch and uh, Julia uh, Chrisman. Thank you so much. Uh, we uh, appreciate all the support you all are giving us. Um, and... We do have some more to talk about, uh, uh, but before we do, this. We came to party all night long, let's sing along to every song. We don't need nobody's attention, don't need nobody else in our zone.
right. Don't forget to check out smartallguru.com for all of your uh, archival <laughs> tracking needs. <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. Uh, yes. Um, welcome back. Uh, that was a great Smarty Party. Love all of the uh, the spooky season uh, pictures. Um, uh, uh, although I really want a froggy suit. <laughs> and if you want to participate in the Smarty Party, you can do that on our Discord. You just can submit photos there, and we choose uh, new ones every week. Uh, well, we don't pick, but you can submit each week, yeah. Yeah. Um, the other thing about, I, while we're talking about the Discord, another thing I wanted to mention, um, I have finally set up the Pin Pals form so that you can uh, do a fabric swap in the Discord if you want to participate. We are doing a fabric and sewing materials swap assigning you a pin pal you can go there and fill out the form until november 3rd um and then we also had there was something else to mention oh there is a sewing circle coming up this coming up sunday which is not going to always be on sundays no but this this time it's going to be on sunday yeah um cool uh let's dig back into this Okay. <laughs> and one thing had to still go wrong. Um, de loop on that one. I don't know what's happening. Um, uh, you know what? I probably, while trying to fix all of the uh, 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 the video problems from before, ended up accidentally looping it. Um, all right, boss. Behind the scenes pictures uh, from Danny's desk. Uh, a couple of things uh, to talk about. The main themes here are. Apparel. <laughs> no, it's apparel. Apparel. Looks like Tokyo jeans. Um, and yes, uh, so this is the 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 pattern making for the Tokyo jeans. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, and of course, then we'll see. We'll also get to um, uh, cortex and some cool, interesting cyber stuff. So, uh. I believe this is apparel <laughs> as well. Um, this uh, this looks like I think just because of the shape of the of the torso of it. Um, uh, a, I, I, well, we haven't really seen this jacket anyway, but it does. I I feel like this is. I don't know. I feel like this I might be pear shape. I believe he said that it fits the pear shape. It was like, it's like based around, I, I'm trying to remember because we talked about this jacket. And I think he said that it was like for the pear shape, but you can put it on, it, you could put it on the the regular girls tool and you just get that really baggy Right, look. that's right. Um, and uh, so we, yeah, this is the first time we've seen that out in the wild. Um, uh, we got some... Uh, some more pattern uh, drafting for the pear body. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, I'd have to translate uh, for that one. Um, but uh, I don't know, Sa Sandy, what does it look like to you based off of barely anything? Um, <laughs> I, I... Is this like some sort of belt? Kind of, like not belt, but waistband kind of thing? Yeah. Because I don't think it's collar. Yeah, it's probably a waistband. Center back. Anybody else have any? Anybody have any guesses as to what this is? Um, hmm. No. Well, we don't know. I. It could be. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and uh, we've also got the floral bikini and a white furry robe for the pear body. Yay! We've got a lot of those robes. We've got some to. I don't know. I haven't. I haven't actually tried one on her to see if it fit yet. To see if it would actually go around. But I'm assuming that he's probably made it fuller for the pear body. Chat. Chat seems to be raining in on shorts for this one. Okay. Oh yeah, and those that's because he's got he's doing that thing now where you can actually take out the um the cord. 
And that's what that's the threat the cord being threaded through the shorts. Oh, 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 oh. Um very cool. I think. Now we start to get into some weird stuff. Um we're getting like sketches and things of uh uh like cyber bodies, but like more actual cyber bodies instead yeah. of just painting. There was a he showed an arm. We'll we'll get there. Yeah. Um this is a essentially a 3D, you know, 3D modeling of a cortex upper, you know, upper arm. Uh so now that we've got uh uh, now that we've got, uh, you know, the the evolve frame, um, it looks like you know he's revisiting he's revisiting cortex at the very least for a cyber body. Not necessarily, you know, like it might not like a cortex normal body. Right. I mean, the cortex when he made it before, it actually was already pieced together. Like it has, it had panels that pieced together. Right. And so he's so, using that idea of panels, but mm -hmm. cutting them in a much more cyber way. Right. Um, and uh, here is an actual and example I'm, of that arm. I'm glad you, this is in the news today because I actually looked at this on my phone and was like, is that just really clever painting with highlighting or is that actually No, parts? it's a, it's a combination it of, of actual panels and etched lines. Yeah. And you can see the etching all the way into the hands. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, very cool. Uh, those are kind of making me a little bit more interested in the cyber bodies versus just the, the painting. Um, let's see what else. <laughs> yeah. So, um, here's a forearm and now we're getting total, like, you know, cyber, you know, cyberpunk, uh, you know, like cyberpunk 2077's, uh, uh, big, like, I'll say sort of mascot, like the, the cover girl for the game is a, uh, uh, a, 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 fee, a, a, a woman with like cybernetic implants, but like her arms are completely like splayed open and like claws and like things are right out. tentacles or something. It's, no, it's not tentacles. It's like it's it's like scythes, you know, like, yeah. uh, swords and stuff. It's it's one of the weapons you actually can get in the game. Um, so he's actually drawing uh, various weapons uh, coming out of uh, of this. Um, <laughs> uh but like is this it looks like a tommy gun of some sort yeah. um uh uh and like like a shotgun type uh, thing right no well this is like uh uh god like a like an anti-tank weapon or something like that. <laughs> um but uh yeah so uh, i like obviously like, it makes a lot of sense that if he's going to do something like this i i doubt he's gonna actually um uh uh whatchamacallit um they're gonna work you mean uh i i right like actual working but he may be looking to do things in more of a uh uh, not vinyl not you know not the you know the vinyl but well it's all technically plastic, but um, but the the cortex may be the option um, to to do that. So that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Um. So, uh, you know, let, let's let's see let's see what the chat is looking at. We've got um, uh, Barbie Witch says. Uh, oh my god, rocket punch, yes, give her rocket punch. Spyro Mind brings up the old Steve Austin and Jamie Summers dolls opened up to take out their cyber parts. I had those. I, I got I had the bionic woman. So I got it, her for my birthday one year. It's 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 like little mini uh like operation sort of thing. Like Yeah, they had like it had like little panels that opened and you could like it had little like sockets where you could like plug her into her chair and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. So that's that's been around for a while. It's very cool. Yeah, it's like you know, this is the tough part I think for for cyber uh stuff is like 
it it's you i don't know you just got to go way farther than it's probably worth going to to really uh, uh i think to make it cool um but uh, I, I don't know, whatever form this sort of stuff, I, I'm sure this is going to be one of those things where he does it and it gets a very limited run. It doesn't work out, but I love to see the experiments. Um, <laughs> it's very, really, really cool. Nadia Aponte is here, says, hello, just received first smart doll today. Yay! Nice! Thank you for all the great information. I got a Monday in tea and extra hands. I'm so excited. Awesome. We Congratulations. are so happy for you. Um. Uh, love to see that. Uh, uh, definitely shout it out when you guys are getting your first dolls. I love love to uh, love to see it. And we used to so, like we used to have like a lot of times in the opening chat, like uh, people letting us know. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, uh, fantastic. Um, well, uh, that's gonna do it for us. Although we should. Uh, what did you do with the other? She's, oh, she's, she's over there. She's right did over you want to get her? Sure, I can show my latest piece of work. Um. So yeah, like stay tuned for C two, and if we can recover <laughs> what happened, uh, we did technically induct her, um, but Sandy uh, has been working on. You have to hold her though, because it don't have a. Oh, you did not make a. It doesn't have a back a, a, a stand hole. Doing a little work on the pair girl. Showing off her frame in a classy way. Um, so yeah, Sandy. Uh, uh, Sandy actually, you know, invited me in to take a look at this, um, and I was just like, you know, take in more, like keep it going. Um, uh, she's looking pretty snatched. Yeah, I think. Um, gave it a little bit of a of a retro vibe to it with this piece on the top with a little bit of sparkle um let's actually oh no i'm gonna do i'll do the doll cam there she is i actually made this dress out of my sweater um i had an old a sweater in the color that i absolutely love but i couldn't wear it anymore and i um i cut it out of that and so it's a nice quality thick knit um yeah, I had a lot of fun with this one. Um, yeah, I definitely feel like, uh, and I think, I mean, this is true with all the dolls, but because, you know, dolls don't squish, they don't have real bodies, right? Mm -hmm. Like they are. They are what they, they are. are. That's, yeah. Um, you have to hug those curves, like tight, you know, fitting clothes does them wonders. Yeah. Um, I mean, and she really looks like, you know, she's got some some uh, spanks on or something. She's, everything is all pulled in really tight, but it still looks it still looks real. Um, yeah, you did great job with this. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Someone asked when I'm going to sell it. Um, yeah, that's what I was watching. When are you selling it? John asked me if I was going to make a pattern. Um, I don't know. Maybe I will take out some like you know not upcycled fabric and and make a couple of these yeah uh and uh we are uh wrapping up on uh getting the measurements and i am gonna focus first on getting a uh uh a a graphic out for you all for for the i have a full like extensive set of measurements that i took um i'm gonna take them again because measure twice cut once i don't want to give you guys something that is not accurate so i will take them one more time and even then it's a pre-production model so yeah but i just i really really like the this i told what did um christina hendrix is that what i was thinking yes of? Like, that's who you were thinking of um i was like i was like she needs she can pull off christina hendrix like uh um mad men uh, you know like pencil skirts and you know like uh, and blouses and stuff she yeah give really a well. side view of her let's turn her this way so people can see more of those curves she's a little she's a little askew there we go how hot is that she looks so good she has a, so good so curvy um yeah so uh if you want to stay up to date with what uh uh sandy puts out there uh for 
the pair body and everything like that, or just continue discussing the uh, 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 the news every week, uh, be sure to join our Discord uh, at myladydisdain.com slash Discord. Uh, and uh, we will be hanging out there for a little bit this evening in, uh, in voice chat. So if you want to uh, pop in, if you have any questions or... Uh, you know, want some, you know, want to share something? Uh, we'll be there for a little bit. Yep. Um, Head on over, join us. We'll be there. So, otherwise, we will see you. We yeah, we should have one next Monday. Um, uh, but we're getting closer to Anime NYC. So, so excited! I just ordered new luggage. <laughs> Happy Halloween, everyone! Bye.